See, a lot of folk won't let you forget what you used to do or what you have done, what mistakes you've made. All of us have made some mistakes in life. All of us have done some things that if we had them to do over again, we wouldn't do it again. There are a lot of things that if I had it to do over again, if I knew then what I know now, I would have done it differently. Well, it didn't happen that way. I didn't do it like that. Oh, you don't want me to live that down. Huh? You want to keep on putting that in my face about what I did. Guess what? I'm not interested. When you permit things to use you, you can't change the past, but you can interpret. You can reinterpret how you see it. For years, I was going around with a heavy load on my shoulders, feeling bad because I was adopted, doing interviews for adoption agencies and foster homes. And I was on television once and I, I t told these people in this particular interview that I was given away, my twin brother and I, when we were six weeks of age. A friend of mine fortunately was listening to the program. And she said, Les, I'd like to have lunch with you. And so I went over to see her. She said, when a woman carries a baby for nine months, feeling that life movement in her, it's automatic and natural for her to learn to love that baby, to expect it to come here when she bears the pain to bring it into the world. Your mother, Mamie Brown, when she came in to adopt you guys, she didn't go through that process. She looked at whoever your biological mother was and said, I'll take her. You weren't given away less. You were chosen with love. Same event, but reinterpreted. An interpretation that empowers me. So when you begin to look at your past, give an interpretation that empowers you. That's where I used to be. That's not where I am now. I'm growing. In your mind right now, think about some particular event or act in your life that you feel very bad about, that you really regret that that took place. If you had to do over again, you would do it differently. With that there, I want you to see yourself in your mind's eye and say to yourself, I love myself unconditionally and I forgive myself. If I knew better, I would have done better. Let me tell you something about the mind, how it uses you tell you something super stupid that I used to do. Do you know for years I hated my mother and my father, whoever they were, because they gave me away as I thought at that point in time? And guess what? I didn't have any faces for the hatred because I never saw either one of them. And I said, I hate them for that. And then once I forgave them and said, it's okay. Had they not given me away, I would have never been blessed to have the mother that I have. But when I went through this process, saying forgive them, I remember in my mind as I was trying to picture these people, I had two individuals in my mind standing there with no faces because I didn't know how they look. But I released that. I let that luggage go. Think about somebody that you've hurt, somebody that you've disappointed, either deliberately or inadvertently, or someone that has hurt you, that caused you some pain, caused you some disappointment somebody that you don't like, deliberately or inadvertently, think about them, somebody that, that you really, really, when you think about them, the, the room turns red and say, I forgive you. I forgive you unconditionally. Whew, boy, that's a heavy load to let off. Reinterpreting our past, understanding and knowing that we can move from where we are, that we can begin to design the kind of life that empowers us, that gives us happiness, that enable us to be on top of who we are, knowing that as we begin to explore new horizons and new vistas in life, that as we begin to, to focus on developing ourselves, as we begin to elevate ourselves and not to follow the crowd, activating the thinker in us and dis disciplining and putting on hold the emotional part of ourselves, it's not easy, but through practice and practice and practice. Practice makes what? Absolutely not. Dismantle that belief system. Practice makes improvement. You can always better your best. You can always go beyond anything that you have ever done. You never hit a state of perfection. You're always bigger than what you do. 
And so all you're looking for are new breakthroughs through practice and practice and practice. You'll get better and better and better. And there's still some things that will happen to you that will catch you on the blind side that you did not anticipate. You'll get knocked down, but you won't be knocked out. You'll be able to get to your feet again, be on the ropes, but you have a fast recovery rate when you work on yourself. What are the things that you must overcome? What qualities about your personality you know that you're going to have to change because those particular characteristics are liabilities to you? What are your assets? What are your strong points? Look at and evaluating yourself to make that determination.